Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we'll be looking at how to get perfect black background in Snapseed. Black background makes an image look more professional and in this video I'll show you how I converted this image into this. So if you want to know how I did this, watch this video carefully. I also made a video on basics of Snapseed. If you are new to our channel or if you have not watched our previous video, don't worry, I'll leave the i button on the top. And by the time if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to click the bell icon. Without taking much time, let's get started. This is the image we are going to edit. Let's go to the editing part. Let's open it in the snapseed. Ok, we have opened that image in the snapseed. There are three different methods to get the black background. Now, let us see the first method. Go to the edit option. Now tune the image. The graph at the bottom left corner is called the histogram. Histogram is nothing but a graphical way of displaying our image. The leftmost end in the graph shows the blacks in the picture. The rightmost end shows the white. Now, let us see our histogram. Leftmost end is empty. This shows that there is no black color or shadows in our image. Now, if we reduce the brightness, you can see our histogram moving towards left. This indicates that blacks are present in our picture. If there is a peak in the leftmost end, it means it is completely dark and has no details. Now let us increase the brightness. You can see a peak in the right side. This will not have any details, it is completely bright. So now to make a black background, pull the brightness down. Also pull the shadows down completely. Now you can see a peak in the left end. Now save it. You have to keep one thing always in your mind. Snapseed always save your images in layers. Go to view edits. Now erase the image. If you set the value to 100, you can apply the edit fully to the brushing areas. If you pull down to 0, you can erase it. You set the value to 100, you can apply the edit fully to the brushing areas. Now erase the areas where you want to remove the effect. Till you get the perfect black background, save it and repeat this step another time. Now it becomes even more darker. Then again go to the layers and erase the required part. Now after repeating this step again and again, you will get a perfect black background. Now let's see a quick before and after. The image was like this before and after edit it looks like this. Repeat the step again and again till you get perfect black background. For this image this method will not be useful. Therefore we are going to another method.
The second method is by using selective option. So selective option, when you place the selective in a picture, it will show you a brown color ring. It means that it will select all the areas with the brown color. You can also expand the ring as per your requirement. Now let's put this on the blue color. You can see the sky is selected. You can now increase or decrease the brightness or contrast of the selected sky. You can also select another selective by pressing the plus icon. Even this method is tedious for the image we are using. You can use this method for those images where the area to be made black is small. So let's go to the third method. The third method is by using the brush. Select the dodge and burn. If you are choosing a positive value, you are going to use dodge option that is you will be increasing the brightness in this image we are going to make black so we want to choose negative value which is burn option this will make the brushed part dark now let's go to the exposure option for the exposure positive value will increase the brightness and negative value will decrease the exposure. You can adjust the strength by varying the values. So decrease the exposure completely and brush the image. Repeat the step again and again till you get perfect black background. You can also erase if it goes wrong. Let's see how the image got edited. We'll see a quick before after. Now if you ask the difference between the dodge and burn and exposure, you can see the impact made by the exposure is very strong, whereas the impact made by the dodge and burn is very subtle. Now save the image and again brush the image by decreasing the exposure. So by doing this you will get a perfect black background. For our image the perfect black background is required to make the image look more professional. So this method will be very useful. Now we will adjust the peacock feather according to the background. Since it is very bright, it will create an artificial look. So let us adjust the brightness using selective and increase the structure.
the image was like this before and after edit it looks like this and that's all guys you can now add your text and keep rocking and that's it guys please stay tuned for more tutorials on snapseed and if you do end up liking our video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt or if you want a detailed tutorial on any part please do mention in the below comment section thank you cheese